previously on Sailing Rum Punch. On last week's episode, we took out almost all of the saloon and then took all of that wood to the tip, as well as preparing for the mast to be unstepped. We also had a chance to go sailing on Ben's brother's boat, which we couldn't miss. Whilst I was gallivanting in London, Ben was sanding and grinding away. But did he manage the dust? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. In this episode, we'll be attempting some slightly better dust management. That's the dream. Don't film that. the car. Oh, <laughs> that was good timing. The last couple of days have been... I've not really been there much. The mess I made on Thursday, um, Ellie cleaned up yesterday, which is good. It worked for me. Well, I Standard, focused... really, isn't it? You make the mess, I clean it up. Sounds good to me. Hoovering was quite substantial, should we say. It was basically like a small snowstorm had happened inside. Now we're going to go get some food and get ready for the day. Bye! So we've learned our lesson from last time. When I grinded the hole down, we made so much dust and we actually lost the day to cleaning up the dust. So I do want to get some more dust management. I want to get a dust shroud for the grinder, but until that arrives, we are going for Dexter Murder Lab style. Just going to cover absolutely everything in plastic so that we can just contain the dust into this small section. The only issue we have today is that it is absolutely hammering it down with rain. It's really stormy, so there's only going to be short windows where we can have the hatches open. But for now, they're going to have to remain closed, and then every now and again when it stops raining, we're just going to have to open it and hopefully get some of the dust out. But that's the plan for today. We want to grind all the fiberglass down on the starboard side. There's lots of wires we need to kind of tuck out of the way. It's going to be fun. Who does this? With these cables, they're absolutely, we can't save these. I was going to try and hopefully pull this off and try and track where they go, but I think it's probably just going to be a cut there, cut there and bin them and then figure it out the hard way. We've got about halfway through the day and it's a bit of a slow progress. So we've decided because we need, um, we're gonna be doing the galley and the whole of the hull at some point, we are we need another grinder, um, which we're putting sanding discs onto. So it's quicker um, for both of us to do that at the same time. So I'm now off to Screwfix to pick up a new grinder um, and some more discs whilst Ben stays in the boat and grinds away, sands away. I'm very sandy. I kind of managed to get most of it off. My God, the dust in there is unreal. Unreal. It's quite bad. <laughs> kind of like almost feel like I shouldn't have bothered with hoovering all day yesterday. Um, also just making more and more mess. Anyway, off we go. It's been about six hours. We've finished the starboard side, sanding it down. There's still a bit around the knee that we've left just until the mass comes down. And then we will take, strip that down and see what's under there. Mm -hmm. 
there's still a lot to do. And again, we, we did our dust management, we turned it into Dexter's murder box and it helped a lot, but it did. we used really it flimsy did. dust sheets, but there's little gaps around the bulkheads that we didn't really know about and it's just blowing loads of dust into the heads, which has made its way into the forward cabin. So there's like really cloudy and dusty out there, but it is what it is. We are going back to work tomorrow. So what we're going to do is maybe come over in the morning and just do one little, once the dust is settled, one little vacuum, one little mop, and just to kind of clean up the rest of it. Anything to add? <laughs> You've just said everything, so. <laughs> no, it's looking good. We've done a good job today. I think we should be proud of ourselves. Yeah, how are your knees? It's, um, you know, my knees are fine. It's actually my back. My back is killing me. It's like me. awkward angles. It's weird lighting. It's got a really pointy chin. <laughs> Why is that? It I'm is. so itchy as well. Yeah, it's really, really itchy. I'm looking forward well, to getting showered when we get back. Anyway, that'll do for now. We're gonna, I'm gonna bail the bilge. Well, like we love a bilge bell, don't we? I've been saying it for four months now that I'm going to empty that bilge and I haven't done it, so hopefully now's the time. Oh, we can sack it off, go home. Oh, oh, I felt the rain. Felt the okay, it's raining. Hatches! Hatches! Hatches. <laughs>
as you can see, these pipes, I've, I tried to undo these and take them out, but these are so corroded and they've just been sat in engine oil and whatever else for 50 years. So I think the easy option here is just gonna have to cut them. We've opened up a pipe and uh, there, there's some water that's been sat there for a while. That is stinky. Oh, that is rotten eggs. That is. Well, we had to call it a day as we had some very exciting post to open. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we just want to say a big thank you for supporting the channel since we started a couple of months ago. The response has been overwhelming and we are just so grateful for that. So please keep subscribing, keep liking and keep commenting. But the positive comments, not the mean ones, they make us sad. <laughs> We've had so many positive comments and we have tried to answer as many as we can. We haven't managed to answer all the questions within the videos, therefore we are wanting to do a Q&A very soon in the next couple of weeks. In this Q&A we're going to answer who we are, our backgrounds, way more about the boat, why we bought the boat, what we're doing with the boat and our plans after the refit is finished. Although I don't think the refit will ever be finished. Um, so we're really excited about that. Um, yay! So, if you do have any questions, please do leave them in the comments below and we will make sure to answer as many as we can. Um, and hopefully you guys can get to know us a little better. We do realise that a big question in everyone's minds is how much everything costs. Now I think we are going to do a separate episode dedicated to the costs of running, building and everything to do with the boats. So don't worry about those ones for now. Anything else, go for it and we'll get to the money a little later on down the line. Sounds good. That's expensive. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yay!